All right, we have talked in the past about Bukele. Bukele is the uh, president of El Salvador. Uh, he is, uh, he's done a, a few radical things. One of them is he made Bitcoin a legal tender in El Salvador. And he has also um, jailed tens of thousands of uh, men, primarily men, I think. Uh, anybody basically with gang tattoos has been jailed. Uh, so tens of thousands of alleged gang members. Uh, trials have been done uh, in large groups, uh, and uh, he's built these massive jails in which to hold them. The, um, the benefits of this, of course, are that El Salvador went from literally the deadliest place on planet Earth, that where more crimes per capita than any place on the planet, to um, you know, uh, as, as safe as uh, most American cities. Uh, so a dramatic decline uh, in, uh, in violence in El Salvador. Um, I don't know about shoplifting, but uh, uh, murder rates have just plummeted, have just plummeted. Uh, unfortunately, the economy has not really picked up. In spite of the Bitcoin stuff, in spite of everything else, the economy... Uh, is struggling. It, it's going to grow less than 2% this year, by according to estimates. El Salvador owes a lot of money uh, to foreigners. Bukele was re-elected uh, by a majority of something like 83%. He calls himself the cool dictator. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a cool guy, Bitcoin. And he, he realizes how you know, dictatorial his policies has been. He's got all kinds of special powers given to him by parliament. It's how he jailed all those people. Uh, but in a speech on Friday, uh, Bukele threatened to use the same tactics on wholesalers and distributors of goods, business people, uh, who he blamed for a recent steep rise in the prices of food items and other basic goods. So, he has bought into Elizabeth Warren's uh, and the Biden administration's claim that inflation is caused by greed, greedflation, they call it. <laughs> and as a consequence, he is now threatening to use the same tactics he used on the gangs, now business leaders, business leaders. To quote Bukele, I am going to issue a call like we did to the gangs at the start of 2019, Bukele said. We told them either stop killing people or don't complain about what happens afterwards. We know what happened afterwards. They all got jailed. Thousands of them, whether how many of those thousands, tens of thousands are actually gang members, maybe 90%, but what about the 10% who are not, who got rounded up with the rest? So be it. Crime has gone down. So he said, we told them, either stop killing people or don't complain about that, or what happens afterwards. Well, I'm going to issue a message to the importers, distributors, and food wholesalers. <coughs> stop abusing the people of El Salvador or don't complain about what happens afterwards. He said, we're not playing around. I expect the prices to come down by tomorrow. Or there are going to be problems. <laughs> so this is the thing. While you could argue that what Bukele did with the gangs was necessary, once you give dictators that kind of power, once you give authoritarian thugs that kind of power, it doesn't matter if they're left or right, once you give thugs, and by the way, Bukele is greatly admired by MAGA, greatly admired around the world by the populist movement. Once they get that kind of power, they're going to use it. Then you're going to use it against peace-loving citizens. They're going to use it against business. They're going to use it against everybody. And they're going to take more and more and more power onto themselves. I mean, he's literally threatening importers, distributed, distributors, and food wholesalers. Food wholesalers. With violence. Now, Millet supposedly likes him but that's a problem with Millet it's a problem with Millet if he really does like him I can't imagine Millet ever doing something like this 
But even liking somebody who does something like this is problematic. Also, if you saw the photos of where Bukele made this announcement, it was, you know, he was sitting at this table all alone and there was these rows of officials and flags and it was very authoritarian looking. It, it looked like, okay, this guy's, this guy's a, this guy really is a, a, a little dictator. He really is. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, I, I think really unfortunate because it would have been nice if Bukele on economic issues was more like Millet, but it really does seem like he's not. Also, remember, Bukele has been president since 2019. The economy in Salvador has not done well. So he's not, uh, from an economic liberty perspective, which I know many of you don't care about, but from an economic liberty perspective, he has not done a lot of good. He has not done positive things. Not done positive things. So, um, and as a consequence, the economy struggles. So we will keep an eye on Bukele, keep an eye on what happens over there.